Ty Kenny with One Source RV. Today we're going to be doing an installation of a POL version of the gas stop on an ASME fixed tank on a Class A RV. Let's get into it. What bothers most people about installing a gas stop on an ASME tank is the regulator requires wrenches versus just a hand grip and this regulator cover which is mounted. So I'm going to remove the regulator cover. Sometimes these are brittle and can actually break on you. It's a good time to replace it. This particular one is about 16 years old and didn't break, so we're in good shape. The fitting going into the tank is reverse threads. Regulator, take my gas stop. Take my regulator, reattach it to the gas stop. Tighten up. You can stop. Tighten the regulator, and the regulator vent should always be pointing down. Now you'll see there's another hole here which I drilled. I'm just going to take this cover, push it back, and I'm only going to have one bolt in this regulator cover. So in my opinion, I don't believe that second one is 100% required in this instance. Turn my gas back on. Prime it. POL gas stop installed. Thank you for your time. Hi, uh, Kenny with One Source again. I'm just going to show you a different variation of an ASME tank on an RV when you're installing a POL gas stop and another option. So this tank is in a little tighter quarters. Regulator is mounted just like the one in our installation. This one has self-tapping screws instead of bolts, which is fine. No need to remove this regulator cover. This one has a hose that screws in to the fitting. So our gas stop will fit between this hose and this fitting. Very simply reverse threads, remove this, reinstall the gas stop, put this hose into the gas stop, and your install is complete. Thank you for your time.